Hey everyone, today we'll be making this little network which results in a pretty cool glowing visual. We start with a sphere, we render this, we give it some displacement, more displacement, more displacement. Then we negate it with some bloom, which I think is pretty cool. And then we give it some color, then just a little contrast and that's it. This tutorial will be really beginner friendly, so just open up touch and follow along. Okay, to start press tab and go to the subworld and look for a sphere. Fantastic. Then connect a geometry from the comp world to it. And then we're going to render it using a camera. Then we need a render top to display our rendered image. You can see our sphere is black now because we need a light. Now our sphere is visible. Now we can go to the render top and go to common and set this to any resolution we want. If you don't have a license, you can leave it at 1280 by 720 or make it 1280, 1280. I'm gonna set it to 1920 by 1080. All right, next we need a small component called line displace. I shared this for free on my Patreon. So go over there and download this. You don't need to be a paid member, just grab this and we can follow along. So once you've downloaded line displace, connect this to the render, go to the custom tab and set the lanes to 25, keep the vertical and keep the displace like this, so 0 0.168. Then we're going to go to the noise tab and you can see if we change the seed, um, this will, the image will change and we want this to happen. So look up uh, beat chop and set the period to two, go to the output and change ramp to pulse. And now if we connect accounts, every time this pulse or this beat triggers the count increments so we can use this to control our seat so every time this pulses our seat increment and our image changes this is great so now connect a null and insert an rgb key here to make our background black then click this display button and now we can see our ball our next step will be to add a little bit of displacement so um we're going to add a transform here and we're going to put the scale down to minus one on both uh, axes. So it will be mirrored along this line. Now insert a displace here and connect this up to the second input of the displace. And now set the source midpoint to zero and set the displace weight to 0 0.089 for both. 0.089. Now we get this funky displacement. Now copy the line displace and paste it here. Connect this displace to it. And we're going to the custom and set the lanes to 20. Set this to horizontal and set the displace weight to 0.01. And now connect a difference from this displace and now we get the difference between these two images. Now we're going to displace the original image with this difference. And we're going to set the displace weight to 0 0.03 and set the source midpoint to zero. Now drag these last two a bit to the right and connect a bloom from this displace. Set the pre black level to 0 0.25 and set the input image to off so we only get our bloom. Now we're going to insert a composite and set it to negate and we're going to connect this bloom. Now we're negating our original image with the bloom and now we can drag these even further and insert a lookup to add some color and a ramp. Connect this ramp to the second input of the lookup and now in this ramp we're going to choose what color we want. So uh, insert a point here and give it this blue color. And then at the halfway point, we're going to make it a bit more green like this. You can do any color you want. You can make stuff red and uh, well, one big uh, disco. Now insert a level here and give it a bit of contrast. 1.3 should be enough. That's it for today. Uh, I will upload this file on my Patreon. I'd appreciate it a lot if you check it out. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.